But it is focused on the rock hand. Should be focusing a bit better there now. Yeah, if you just the eye you got, don't worry about looking through it, just keep your close your eye that you're looking in here with and keep your other eye open. Oh, yeah. And then just turn it and it'll follow it no at all. It's the reserve grade game against uh, Longreach, Bark Alden Longreach at Longreach. Bark Alden team we've got fullback Ian Coveney, Darren Haywood, Dave Perry, Jason Pierce, Eddie Blucher, captain, uh, Billy Bond, Craig Rogers, John Power, Merv Cullen. Scott Cowan, Michael Aylett, Dave Roberts, uh, Labas, CSEA, Dave Perry, Chuck Wayfield, Martin Bannon, Phil Thompson, Peter Stewart, Christy Bleacher and Tim Dwyer in reserves. The Long Ridge team we've got uh, Chris Lashford, Mark Myers, Ryan Dickinoski, Tony Mould, Harlock, G Davies, D. Ivers, Ann Rollinson, M. Jackson, J. Dickinoski, M. Walker, L. Parsons, Phil Butt, J. Roberts, T. Grawson, L. Crosslam, F. Star, P. Lawrence, D. Franklin, and B. Scott in reserves. And uh, it's only the opening minutes of the game, and already Merv Cullen's gone down, and uh, they're stretching him off the field. We don't know what the injury is at this stage. He did go into the uh, the game with a bit of a bit of a fitness problem. The referee signals the restart. In the last game, uh, Barkall and beat uh, Longridge 24-18. As Johnny Powers takes it out from the dummy half, makes a good 10 yards. Barkall and now camped in the uh, Longridge three-quarter. Billy Bond puts in a chip kick. Bark Alden players found to be offside. In front of the kicker, says the referee. Okay, the ball's failed to go out. Pierce juggles with it, but he's held it all right. It's the ball back into the field of play. Bad mistake there by Longridge. See if they can set themselves for a forward play. Cracker takes it up strong. A couple of metres short of the halfway line. Powers gets it out to Craig Rogers. He makes a big run up the middle. Gets it over the halfway line. Still going. It's a bit of a suspect knee since the Central West Trials. But he seems to be going all right at the moment. OK, the referee's being consistent here today at least. And he's uh, got long for being offside inside the five metres. Bond takes a quick tap and makes the uh, 20 metre line. See what Barkall can do there, it's the first tackle. Eddie Bleacher takes it for a run. He's taken in a big tackle from the Longridge players, about 15 metres out. Perry takes the ball, a good strong run, he's about five metres short of the Longridge line. It's third tackle in a multi. Ball goes out the back line to Bond, tries to unload, oh, they've overrun it. Done well to get back as he signals six more. All right, tackle four, the referee signal. Parky overrun that a bit, and I'll see if they can set their back line again here now. A little close to a knock on there, but he's got away with it. It could be a bit deep, that kick from Billy Bond. Yes, it's gone out on the full. 
tap kick from the 20 metre line for Longreach. And Bark Alden looked like they're trying to do a bit too much with the ball there. Had plenty of tackles left. Just one penalty each so far, isn't it? First tackle going to Longwich. Well, they're a bit confused there, didn't get it out. Christy Bleach and Dave Perry take the uh, Longwich halfback out. Tackle two. Lockwood's in there. All right. Oh, we've got a Barky player injured in the tackle there. Billy Bond, he's all right now. It's tackle three for Longridge. Four. Tackle four, sorry. And they've just made the halfway line. Let's see if they can do that pass. Looked a little bit suspect there too, but the referee's ruled it okay. It's tackle five, fifth and last signals the referee. Oh, and it's a bad pass back to the clearing kicker. Fairly straightforward kick for Coveney, but he fails to get to it on the full. Put pressure on his own team here. Pierce has stepped around his first two players, making his way down the line. It's a good run from Pierce. He makes the uh, 40 metre line. Eddie Bleach has taken a good run from 5'8 there. He advances to just over the halfway line. Powers lucky not to get caught for a knock on there. Rogers is a big strong run up, takes it to the 40 metre line. Back to Dave Roberts. He's broken the first line of defence. Ooh, and the Longridge players come in high over the top there. Oh, it's a knock on there from Christy Bleacher. No, play on, says the referee. It's gone back. He signalled it's gone back. Bleacher's making good ground here. Oh, what a pass from Christy Bleacher. Great support there from Dave, Pe Dave Pierce. Mark Alden go for the first try. Well, that all started from a bit of broken pay back on the uh, 20 metre line. Eddie, uh, Billy Bond got the ball out to Christy Bleacher, who broke through and uh, unloaded a terrific pass to Jason Pierce in support and went over for a, uh, a good wingers try. And Bark Alden lead 4-0. What's the time on Seven minutes. Eight minutes. All right. In the eighth minute of the game, that was. The first try went to Jason Pierce. Hey, it's hard. That's why the best thing to do is just go. Uh, <laughs> Why just press that? Red button. They produced the goods against Blackwell last week, fairly stretching them to a, yeah, about a 30-point win margin. Scott Cowan takes the ball up strongly for Bark Alden. And Dave Roberts, this will be his fourth hit up for the day already and is only 10 minutes into the game. Michael Aylett's running strongly too. He's uh, taking the ball up to the 40, oh, he's 45 metres, only five metres short of the halfway. Powers decides to go from dummy half and makes a good five metres. That's the fourth tackle. See what they're going to set themselves for a kick here. Well, Billy Bond goes the run around. They're going to spread it wide. Christy Bleacher found a gap here before and he's done it again. So he's got an art of getting off that first tackle. It's tackle five signals the referee. Rogers decides to run himself. He's going to be held. No, he's unloaded the ball. Bark Alden's going to go with it. They finally cleared it out to the uh, left-hand side of the field. Oh, and Perry's come through and got it. The referee's going to signal a handover. Longridge didn't touch the ball in that play. And Bark Allen's fairly putting the pressure on here early. Tackle one for Longridge. They clear it out to their 20-metre line. Most of the play's been in the Longridge half so far. Always a big tackle from Perry. He's uh, lifted him, taken him back a couple of metres. Good strong run from the Longridge forward. Finally taken in a nice tackle there from John Power. Well, Longridge making some good yards down the blind side. Mark Orr will have to watch that. It's tackle four, tackle five signal the referee, so Longridge is going to have to clear it here. 
the wingers are already set back in good position and well taken. Power it was, he seems to be everywhere here today, John Power. Ian Carvney with a good strong run, but he's met in good so solid defence there by the Longreach players. Chasing the kick up, and Jason Pierce takes a, another run, unloads back to his, his opposite winger, so the wingers are working in tandem there. They've been given a roving commission by their coach, Lyle Wallison, by the looks of it. Cracker Arlott, this is going to be his fourth or fifth hit up for the day. Another good strong run from him. And Dave Roberts. Uh, the forwards are hitting the uh, defensive line fairly hard, and if they keep this up, they're going to make it hard for Longwich in the second half. Rogers standing out wide in defence. Oh, and Bleach is burst through from a beautiful pass from Rogers. And he's just lost his feet, Christy Bleacher, but he's still unloaded it. Luckily, uh, Dave Perry was in support back there. One of the Longish players is grappling for the ball, but uh, Perry was able to get a hold of it. And Barkall in a strong position here again. Oh, met in a solid tackle there. I think he's hurt his own player more than the Barky players. Play on, says the referee. Billy Bond's doing a step. No support. No support there for him. He was left standing. Have got anything signal here? Rogers is charging for the line. Yes, he's got over, says the referee. And big strong run from Craig Rogers there. Well, just the tackle before, Bark Alden were left ungrouped. Billy Bond was there and no support hanging off him, but they, they finally made it to the... Uh... Well, John Powell's got the kicking duties for the Bark Alden team today. His first one was a good one, and he's made the second one. That's two from two from John Powell today. Yeah, mate. He takes a couple of seconds. OK, along with the restart. Ball comes back to Scott Cowan. It's the second time he's run it out from the kickoff, and he's done well. He's got it over the 30-metre uh, line. Now the referees call that player out. Well, he's called uh, Lockwood out from Longwich. He's ruled that he's gone in late and high in a tackle. It missed uh, Scott Cowan, luckily, but uh, the referee still saw it and thought it worthy of a penalty, so a penalty to Bark Alden. Oh, and they haven't cleared it either. Bad mistake from Bark Alden, going for too much distance. I think there's been a scrum yet, has there? Yeah. Get right on this line. Oh yeah, just yeah, yeah, mate, just down there, mate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. All right. Christy Bleacher wrestles the longish player down. Oh, it was a very scrappy play of the ball, but they've been allowed to get away with it. Christy Bleach is in for another tackle. He did this in Bark All and against Longwich uh, a couple of weeks ago. He did three or four big tackles in a row. Longwich making a bit of ground there through the Barky defence. I'll have to watch that. Their defensive line left a hole in it. It's fifth and last for Longwich. And Bark Alden been caught offside. Billy Bond it was, the offending player. Longwich get a chance to take the quick tap. There's big gaps out wide there for Longwich if they send the ball out, but Perry's taking the player ball and all and stopped the move. Bark Alden resets himself in defence. Three or four of the Bark Alden players standing offside there. The referee had a good look at them. Here comes a try from Longridge. It must be only a metre short of the line down there. Oh, and a good tackle from Bark Alden. Still didn't get the ball carrier there. They're desperately defending their line. This is good defence from Bark Alden so far. Must be about the fourth tackle. Oh, and a big tackle from Rogers. Rogers and Coveney there. It was a great tackle from them. Fifth and last signals the referee. Longwich uh, put a chip kick into the end goal. And it's taken by Perry. She had great skills there taking that ball in goal. A fair bit of pressure on him there from the Longwich attack coming through. But Barkall and get the 20 metre tap. Eddie Bleacher takes a quick tap. Advances it to the 30 metre line. Ball comes from Hayward to Billy Bond. Out to Scott Cowan. He's making a good break to the halfway line. He unloads the pierce. Oh, he's dropped the ball. He just didn't get his hands to it. And the first scrum of the game. 
in the uh, what minute is it, mate? Right? First, first scrum in the 15 minutes of the game. Longreach will have the feed. It's just near the uh, halfway line. Oh, and they've lost it against the feed. No, the referee signals that it didn't go in properly. The ball wasn't fed in properly. Straight off the hooker's foot. Pack it again. Okay, Longish win the scrum. And it's a big run. Oh, he's just managed to be ankle tap there by Christy Bleacher. He was away for all money. Yes, play on, says the referee. The ball had cleared the... Uh, Clear the dummy half. Fair play. Michael Lowe has been doing some work in the run-ups today. Eddie Bluechick calls for the ball. Eddie's the, uh, the captain of the B-grade side. Ball goes from Perry to Rogers. He gets a long one out wide. Who's playing in the centres here, mate? With the headgear, Jason, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward, that was from Bark Alden with the headgear on. Had a couple of good strong runs so far. Bark Alden's got a big back line set here. Billy Bond's looking for his support. And he's still going. They haven't managed to hold him down yet. Good run from Billy Bond. Showing plenty of skills there. John Powell decides to go from the dummy half position. Puts a high bomb into the Longridge players. Oh, Bark Alden right over the top of him. Looks like Powers could be down there too. No, it wasn't Powers, it's uh, Darren Haywood. He had done his knee last week playing against Blackall and uh, he's just heard it again there by the looks of it. Blackall and found inside the five. So uh, Longridge get their uh, second penalty of the match. So far the penalties are two all. And he's cleared the line this time. Both teams have made the mistake so far in this game and not clearing the ball from the uh, free kick. Probably going for too much ground. The score still remains. 12 Bark Alden Longridge nil. Jeez, we've got a long time to stand here for that. A couple of last deals, mate. Okay, that's tackle one from Longridge. Barker will be meeting fairly well in defence so far. That's tackle two. Longridge not really making the uh, easy yards. And that's an easy knock on. Christy Bleach has come up with that. They're just not set themselves properly at the moment. Longridge, Barker looking for a big back line move here. Well, they've got Longridge at sixes and sevens. The ball goes to Billy Bond out to Dave Roberts. Darren Hayward makes a big break down the left-hand side of the field. He's only got one man to beat, and he's all the way. He's going to go under the post. Yes. Great move from Bark Alden. Good work from the inside players from, from Bond and Rogers to set up that move. They got the ball and, and unloaded it quick, long passes out to the wing. And Darren Hayward was up to the uh, task of getting the ball over the line. Good move from Bark Alden. OK, John Power goes for his third kicks. His teammates are making it easy for him today. That's two in front that he's had, and he's made no mistake. So he's got three from three attempts so far. Park all than 18. Longreach nil. And uh, that's in the 20th minute of the game. And uh, just a comment there that Craig Rogers is looking a bit stiff and sore. Uh, Longridge back for the restart again. Getting used to this at the moment. Let's see if their condition holds out. Straight to Cowan again. They're picking him out, but uh, he hasn't made a mistake yet. He's running the ball back very strongly, Cowan. A couple of the Longridge players walking already. Dave Roberts takes it up. This must be about his seventh or eighth hit up for the day. Done plenty of work with the ball early. Eddie Bleacher gets cut out there. Craig Rogers was standing... standing... Uh, flat-footed, but Billy Bond isn't. Billy Bond showing plenty of skills out there today. There's another man that's been doing plenty of work early too. He's been making some good yards out of the dummy half as Johnny Power. Soft drink to his mates.
<laughs> Billy Bond gets to clear and kick. He's had a bit of pressure from Longley's play, but he's done well. To, he's put a chip over the top instead of going for the line. Followed through. So Longley should got the ball inside their own 20 metre line. The referee's going to call out uh, Billy Bond there for a bit of uh, late aggression in the tackle. Captain Bleacher questions the referee's decision. The referee won't change his mind. He's going to award the penalty to Longridge. It's the fifth penalty of the match. Longridge, uh, three penalties in Bark Alden, two. Okay. Number 10 for Longridge, Stikanowski. Lifted in a big tackle from Eddie Bleacher. Lock. The referee's ruled an unintentional forward pass there, so the scrum will pack down. This is only the second scrum for the match. What's the time? I don't know. Bloody 25 minutes gone? 21 minutes. 21 minutes gone. It's only the second scrum for the match, so uh, there hasn't been that many mistakes. Well, Bond decides to go his own, and he's made it to the 20 metre, the 10 metre line, sorry. Very dangerous player, along with having a hard time containing him today, and here's another man having a hard time containing John Power. He's looking to unload, but yes, he gets it away. Mark Allen's there to support us. Mad pass from Mark Allen. Let's throw him a few Hail Mary jobs there. And then again, I suppose with 18 points on the board, they, they figure they can get away with a bit of that. He's ruled a scrum. Was it knock on, was it? It's been a knock on by the Bark Alden side, I think. Yeah, Longley's looking a little bit sad and sorry for themselves at the moment here, but um, they've got 20 players to play today, so they've got plenty of reserves up their sleeves, so the fitness shouldn't be a worry with these two teams today. Okay, it's a Longridge feed. It's only the second scrum for the day. Oh, strong tackle from Bark Alden. That's a big tackle there from Christy Blucher and uh, Jason Haywood. Longwich were very lucky to fall back on the ball there. They jarred the ball loose in the tackle, but uh, the Longwich player fell back onto it. Billy Bond makes a very neat tackle on the Longwich player there. In uh, Parsons, their, their uh, hooker. Eddie Blucher goes in low, leading from the front, Eddie Blucher. Bit of fire coming in from these Bark Alden fellas at the moment. I hope they keep a cool head. They've got the points on the board. They don't have to do any silly things. Well, let's get the ball out wide. Now we'll see how the cover defence is. Billy Bond's going across in cover. That's great work from Billy Bond. He's uh, going across in cover defence. That's his job. Chip kick in from the Longreach winger, but he's gone too far. Touch judge rules the ball back. So we'll have our uh, third scrum. The referee rules a handover to Bark Alden. It's on the sixth. So it's only the uh, third handover for the game. Eddie Blucher making a big run here. Mark Alden, captain, played well last week and he's uh, putting in a big effort again this week. Well done there from Jason Hayward. He was uh, troubled a bit in the dummy half position but cleared the ball still. Big strong run from Ian Cody and Jason Pearce makes a big run down the line. This is great work from the winger. Well, he's got all the skills of a good winger, this fellow, if he can keep at it. He was operating on about two metres of line there and he outstepped along his defence and then uh, ran around the back of the rest of them. Put the ball down underneath the post. John Powers lines up for his fourth kick for the day. Make no mistake, he's got her again. Could get the A-grade kicking duties if he keeps kicking like this. Four from four he's got. Is, uh, 
Yes, Long Reach back to the restart again. It's uh, 24 nil, 25 minutes into the first half. They've gone for a shallower kick this time, but there's a bit of confusion in the back all inside there. The referee ruled that it was a knock on. Play on. A bit of confusion there as well. The player's not getting out of the road, but Roberts decides to take the ball. He's met in a solid tackle from the Long Reach defence. Michael Aylett's not backward and coming forward when it comes to the big rucks. Mark Allen just short of the 40 metre line. Powers looking to unload there, but uh, he decides, decides against it. And wise move. That's uh, third tackle, I believe, for Mark Alden. The ball goes on to Ian Coveney. He's had a couple of good strong runs from the fullback position here so far. Always makes his 10 metres. Just short of the halfway line. Coveney, as they play the ball back to Rogers for a clearing kick, gets it back into the long reach past the 20 metre line. The ball looks to be a knockback from Longreach referees, Hewlett says, so uh, play on. They're at the uh, Longreach 20 metre line. Well, Longreach attempting to advance the ball down the blind side there, but not making any ground there. Don't look too set in the forwards either, just to go on one out from the uh, dummy half, making it easy for the Bark and forwards to make them a mark. So, uh, well, Bark Alden well offside there. Nearly half the team offside. Very handy penalty for Longwich at this stage if they're looking to get some points on the board before half time. Go for the clearing kick they decide they reckon they can make it in that distance. Big kick from the Longwich player. Takes it up to the uh, 30 metre line. Just short of the 30 metre line. Davies for uh, Longreach taking in a big tackle from Bleacher as they come through again and uh, good strong run from the Longreach second rower Nikonoski. Longreach now inside the 20 metre line for Bark Alden. Bark Alden managed to hold them out last time. Let's see if they can do it without giving away any silly penalties. They're skirting it out wide. They reckon that's the way they're going to go. They keep picking on that left right hand side of the field for Bark Alden, but Bark Alden's up to the task at this stage. It's got to be a third tackle for Bark Alden. Referee calling them back onto the five metre line. Well, there's no one really calling for it there from Longridge. Interested to see. Uh, Longreach coach has got to say to his players at half time, they look a bit disorganised, they're, not, they're going to one out, they're making it easy for the Bark Alden defence. Coming up in a nice straight line, the Bark Alden defence. Powers goes in, stand and back and holding him, I think he'll be safe. Bark Alden's held him, they'll form a scrum on the 10 metre line. <laughs> Referee signals a halt to play, there's an injured player down on the uh, 10 metre line. I believe it was a hand over the signal rule before that. So in about the 30th minute of the game, uh, Bark Alden lead 24 nil. Long reach Trapper signals for a replacement player. Yes, it's a hand over. Bark Alden got the ball on their own goal line in the hands of Eddie Bleacher, the captain. Powers unloads the ball, a nice ball out to Haywood. Can he keep the ball in play? He does, they've done well there. There's a brave move from Bark Alden unloading the ball well on their own try line. They're content to go with it though, Aylett rucks it out again. Having a big game in attack today, Aylett. A little long way to try to clear the ball as a referee signal six more to go. Six play on with six more to go. Let's tackle one. Rogers caught with the ball outside his own 15 metre line. The ball goes Eddie Blucher. That was close to being forward that ball, but it was a nice pass. Out to Cowan who advances the ball up to the 25 metre mark. Well, Dave Perry here got the ball. He's done some good work for Bark Alden there today, and there's been some good slick passing from the Bark Alden side. They're, they're happy to let the ball go and let the fellas do the running. And just as I said that, they've overrun the pass. The referee will set a scrum in 10 metres in the Bark Alden side of the uh, halfway. 
I'll need to get the feed. We haven't won a scrum yet. We haven't had a feed yet either, I suppose. Okay, Longridge come up with the ball and they're inside the bark all than half there at the 30 metre line. Referee blows the whistle again for a forward pass it looks this time. Yes, he's passed the ball forward signals the referee. Unintentionally, so they'll pack a scrum from the 35 metre line. Bark Alden's got the feed. Oh, Billy Bond goes for the big one-hander and out to Christy Bleacher, who's got a good set of hands and making a great run here down the side, and he's got a lead, and where's his support? He gets it out to Perry, who's in support. He gets it out to Hayward. What a beautiful try from the Bark Alden team there. That's just great support all around from the Barky side. All started from a big pass from Billy Bond, but Billy Bond at the scrum. Big one-hander out to his uh, partner in Christy Bleacher, who broke the longest defence. And just as he was running out a bit of pace, he uh, unloaded it over to Dave Perry, who was tracked down by the Longridge defence, but uh, Darren Hayward was there in support to finish off a great move from the Bark Alden back line. That's Hayward's uh, second try for the day. In the 33rd minute of the game. Dave Perry's been doing all right in support too. He's bloody been there twice. Yeah, up again. Conversion again successful from uh, John Power. He's got five from five so far, so he's got no qualms with the Longridge grounds. Back to the halfway line for the kickoff. <laughs> Longest restart. Uh, yeah, we had no report on Merv Cullen yet. We don't know uh, what was wrong with him. We can't see him here. We don't know whether they've taken him to the hospital for a check or not. We'll find out at half time. The ball comes away in Cowan again, who's been doing all the work in the kickoff department. Always makes it to that 30 metre line. Dave Roberts caught with the ball on the 30 metre line. Unloads it to Mike Lalit. He's just unloaded his shoulder pads over here a few minutes ago. I must reckon the going's easy enough to not need them. Rogers taking the ball, looking to unload. Gets it out to Powers. Who unloads. Oh, he's got an unarmed away, but play on says the referee. And Christy Bleach is making plenty of gaps out wide here today. Good easy yards from Christy Bleach, and he's putting in the hard work too. Hayward makes a good run there up to the uh, 25 metres out from the longest line. Dave Perry gets the ball and decides to go from dummy half and he looks like going over again. Just short of the line, only two metres short of the line for Dave Perry. And it's a handover for a long reach. Bark all have elected twice so far to run with the ball on the sixth tackle. And it's been a pretty good move so far. It's catching the uh, long reach defence unawares. I think they stand back waiting for the kick and Barkey's run straight at them. Play the knock on there, says the referee. Pack a scrum on the 10 metre line. <laughs> Looks like a bark all and feed. Longridge coming up with a mistake in their own 20 metres. Might pay dearly for this. The ball put in from Billy Bond. He picked up the ball from the base of the scrum. He's taken in the first tackle. So that's uh, five scrums going down so far. Rogers has got the ball heading towards the goal pass, looking to unload, but just couldn't unload. Support was there too. John Power gets the ball out to Michael Aylward. He makes a big, strong run towards the line. Referee looks hard at it. Yes, he's refereed a f referee's ruled a fair try. In the 34th minute of the game, Michael Aylward crosses the line. Cracker, he's back at the 20 metre line with a big grin on his face. It's number 12 jersey too, eh? <laughs> In the number 12 jersey, says my co-commentator here, who's out this week with an injury. 
getting very green with envy here. Just coming up the stairs. Soft drink uh, comes in for the conversion attempt and makes it six from six. What time is it? Man? What? So only five minutes to go to half time and uh, Bark Alden leading uh, 36 points to nil. <laughs> oh, well, that's what. Yeah. Yes, um, whilst he advises me that there's only be a couple of minutes to go to half time, we've been stopping the uh, camera during uh, breaks in play. Perry makes a big run, long which changed the tactic there. They uh, decided that Cowan's been making too much yards off the kickoff, so they picked Perry out, but he's done the same thing and come up to the 30 metre line. Ball goes back to Roberts, he's hitting a strong tackle from Dickinoski. Eddie Bleacher now decides to go in, but loses his footing uh, 10 metres short of the halfway line. Ball comes back to Aylard, he's been making big grounds today, Quacker, the try scorer in the last of the last try, he makes it to the halfway line and the ball comes to power, he clears it away to Billy Bond out to Christy Bleacher who's been making the big breaks out in the centres here today. He advances the ball to uh, five metres over the uh, Longridge side of halfway. Power goes for the clearing click, it's been charged down by Longridge. Play on says the referee. Play on says the referee. So uh, Longridge have the ball 15 metres inside the halfway, inside their half to play. Nice tackle there from uh, Coverty and Powers and the long reach winger. Oh, he's a big tackle again from Bark Alden. He managed to unload. Very strong defence here from the Bark Alden side. Coming up in one line and they're just too eager to go up in defence. They've been caught a few times a day inside the five. And the siren goes for halfway. So half time, sorry. So Bark Alden just uh, long get one more penalty just before half time to see if they can get some points on the board. Lift their morale a little bit. Christy Bleacher says he'll have nothing to that as he jars the Longridge player down 10 metres over, 10 metres over the Bark Alden side. A big clearing kick comes in there from the Longridge second row, Dickinoski. Back to Coveney, who's spilt it. Still unloading the ball out to Dickinoski. Very scrappy play there. Desperate attempt to get some points on the board before half time. The referee signals half time. So Bark Alden, a half time, a score of 36. And uh, Longreach nil. Tries going so far to Darren Haywood. Two tries. Jason Pierce, two tries. Craig Rogers with a try. Michael Arlott with a try. And John Power with six successful penalty kicks out of six. And Christy Bleacher, uh, he's made all the difference in the uh, Barky three-quarter line here today. He's broke the line on continual occasions and made big yards. And he's had good support from his outside players. But he, he's really uh, shown his class here today. Kick to the first reserve for Longridge. Takes up and hit by Quacker and Dave. A good ball and old tackle. Number nine unloads the ball out wide. Another good tackle there, Johnny Pear and Billy Bond. Pulls her up there. Knock on in that play, the ball was it? Yep, the knock on. Bark all and have the feed. Billy feeds the ball, takes the ball, goes himself. And dived on quickly there by the long range defence. Plays it back to Johnny Power. Johnny Power unloads to Dave and hit hard by Sanchez. Put down there 30 yards out. Christy Bleacher picks up the ball, stumbles, unloads to Dave Perry. He unloads out wide to the other cop. <laughs> He's down the line and three defenders on top of him. He plays it back to Ian Coveney. Coveney to Power, Power to Blucher. Blucher steps inside, goes himself. Tries to unload, couldn't get the pass away. Plays it back to Eddie Blucher. Blucher will go on his own. Steps back inside and going well, and he's over. Oh, yes. A brilliant individual try. He was a lot of these deal. 
And mate, that was in the uh, first minute of play. In the first minute of play in the second half. The uh, six for six there for John Power. He just made the conversion. There you go, mate. There he is, the uh, Matthew Ridge of Barkall and John Power, <laughs> seven and seven. Johnny Power kicking brilliantly. Another kick to Scotty Cowan. Has it look like fumbling a ball all day? Beats the first tackler. Johnny unloads to Roberts. Robert fumbles and knock on. They'll pack another scrum there. Oh, collapse the rubber. Collapse the scrum there. Longridge feeds. And Billy got it. Uh, Billy Bond's dived on the ball here. Done well. He plays it back to power. Hayward goes without it. Quacker picks it up. And it'll be another scrum. Very sloppy period of play. Here. Yeah. Very scrappy. Sloppy play. Another scrum here. <laughs> so once again. Yeah, yeah. See so you win. And put it back together. That's against us, all right? Yeah. Longridge go away with it here, out wide. And a good pass back inside there. He's, he's still going. Mark Alden getting there slowly. Darren Hayward's taking a dive down here. He's on the ground again. We have Sanchez for Longridge takes it up and hit hard there by Dave Roberts, a bit late. Scotty Cowan, good tackler. He's pulled the play up here before we have an injured play back here, Darren Hayward. The ball there, 10 yards out the Bark Alden line and hit a good hit there by Craig Rogers and, the, and, and he's pulled it up. Uh, Darren Hayward just getting taken from the field. They hold his neck and he looks pretty sore. Still unmoved. Longridge awarded with the penalty there. Takes a tap. A good tackle there by Eddie Bleacher underneath. Plays it back. Longridge take it up again. Set move there. Spin it back to side. Hit well there. Rogers. Some desperate defending to keep him out. Plays it back. Longridge with the ball again. They spin it wide. No, the half goes on his own. Good tackle there. Scotty Cowan and Dave Roberts. They spin it wide again. Billy Bond very quick up there. A good tackle. Longridge on the move again. They spin it wide. They've got shorter numbers out there and the defenders are everywhere. Sanchez is put to the ground. They bring it back this way again. They're spinning it wide. Barkhold and a bit short out here. And I think he's put the ball over. It was a good run. And uh, Longridge very jubilant about that score, the try. In the 42nd, 44th minute. Right? In the 44th minute of the game. Longridge line up for this kick. Number six, G Davies. He moves in to kick it, win behind him. He struck it well. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Very unlucky. He started play there. Plays it back to Jackson. Jackson on his own. No, sorry, it wasn't Jackson. It was Ralston. He plays it back to Jackson. Out to their half, and Sanchez picked it up running hard. Good tackle there, Quacker Aylett. Bit of a swinging arm there. And the Sarge will pull him out. There's an action replay of it. The ref shows us. Awards a penalty to Longridge. Yeah. What's that a penalty against? Longridge kick it out and take the tap off Jackson, I think it is. 
What's his name? Jackson. Good ankle tackle there by Craig Rogers. Plays it back to Jackson again. On to Sanchez, running hard again. Good boot base tackle. Dave Roberts in there. Rogers. Long reach spin it wide. Hook and run it. Long reach it up again. Good run there. Taken there by Coveney. And Roberts once again. And the ref's got him. Got Jason Hayward offside out here, moving up too quick, too keen. So another penalty for Longridge. Sanchez is running, taking the ball up. That's what happened last time, Longridge came back in the second half. Yeah. A lot of coming back to do this time, right? So he's switched back to the blind side and taking there Michael Ayla, doing plenty of work this game, along with Ian Coveney. They spin it. Right back along the back line, the centre, and moved up very quickly. Eddie Blucher times his tackles to perfection. They send out to the wing. Another good hit there by uh, Eddie Blucher and Johnny Power over top. Jackson goes on his own, steps out of one, dived on by Dave. Longridge spin it wide again. They kick. It's not much of a kick. It's straight down Blucher's throat. He's gone without it. Go on. And they'll pull her up there for a knock on. So that'll be long just feed. Yeah. Play. Billy Bond wraps him up quickly. Plays the ball. Longridge on it again. Doing plenty of work this forward for Longridge. He gets a good pass away. Picks up Dikonoski. Good tackle. Christy Blucher and uh, Scotty Cowan. They spin it wide. There's a chance here. They've got the overlap. He's, he's lost the ball. Dived on by Barkall and Jason Hayward, I think it is. He plays it back to Michael Aylett. Silly mistake there by Longley's had a the overlap there and plenty area there to score. Barkall looks a bit unsettling. Yeah. Plays back to Johnny Power. Picks up Dave Roberts. Good run. Bark Alden looking unsettled here in the second half. Eddie Blucher. Okay, still going. And brought to... No, he's got the pass away and Coveney's off. Look at this fella gallop. He's going well. He's got one to beat. He's got it away. A beautiful pass and they've pulled it forward pass. Good work. That was good. That was well executed, but they're unlucky there. I'm standing right on the line here and it was very touch and go. Well, I hope I don't get disheartened over that as they pack for another scrum. Longridge feed and win. Let it go wide into their centre. He's a good tackle there by Dave Roberts. Uh, Dave Perry. He plays the ball quickly, brings it wide. They haven't got... Johnny Power, a good tackle. Works all game. He plays it back. Longridge bringing the blind side again. And rather... Tackle them. Johnny Power and Jason Hayward. Jackson steps, goes himself on the blind, lets the ball go, gets it out on the line. They've pulled her up for a forward pass as well. So Barkle will have the feed. Hang on, go on. 50 minutes going, mate. Ten minutes into the second half here. Both sides looking a bit weary. <laughs> Fed by Billy. Now spun it wide straight away. Pierce goes. Running well. Can't unload. Unloads uh, Ian Coveney and he'll get a gallop on here now. He's gone for the corner, they've mowed him down. Can't quite get it. He's done it. He's it. They've awarded the try. Beautiful running. After the last sprint, he's come out and done it again. What minute is it? The 50th minute, right? That's right, 10 minutes. Where's Coveney's name? 
One, right at the top. Yeah. In the 50th minute. Soft drink with a more difficult kick this time. Hits it well, just to the left of the uprights. First miss for the day, eh? Yeah, first miss for the day. He's been kicking well. Where are we at here? There's nothing written. Well, that makes his fight again. And long reach restart play. Kicking to the southern end. Down. Scotty Cowan and he's picking the ball up brilliantly. Picking him out for some reason. Yeah. Plays back Dave Roberts. Didn't quite time that run right. No weak pass there from Billy. So that'll be a scrum long ridge feed once again. So pack in. Half puts it in. One by Longridge. He spins it out. Christy Bleacher very quick, but missed him. They spun it right out to the winger, and he's a brilliant cover defence there. Philip Thompson, I think it is. He must just come on for Barkey. He's across there very quickly and pulled him across the line. They'll pack a scrum. Billy Bond to feed it in. You know you got it, really. Longridge, you got the ball. I missed that. Well, I wrote this. Against this mark. Right, uh, Longridge spin it wide. I've got two men out there. They're, they're going to score here. Right. No, he's been pulled into touch. Perry. The linesman's pull his flag up. The Longridge fellas look pretty confident there. They'd put it over. Dave Perry, I think it was. A good run. Pull him into touch. So they'll pack another scrum. Billy Bond to put it in. They don't seem to want to hook the ball. Mark Alden's come up with it. Billy, lets it out. Go wide to Dave. Runs well. Down 10 yards off the halfway line. John, uh, Scotty Cowan's fumbled. And he'll pull it up there for the knock-on. Scrappy game now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad I'm not marking the handling areas now, now. <laughs> they pack it in, long reach to feed. They let it go to the harp. He's hit well there, Christy Blucher and uh, Craig, Rogers. Craig Rogers underneath. There's been another forward takes up for Longridge. Good tackle there, Philip Thompson and Michael Aylett. Longridge play it. Have another forward ruck. There's fumble there. They dive on him. Have a player down here in the back play. Longridge spin it wide. They've Oh, good hit there, Jason Pierce. He'll go from dummy half on his own and running well. He's made 15 <laughs> yards there. Good running. And they've pulled play up. But an injured player. That was Jason Hayward down in back play. He's all right. Penalty against. Longridge take the kick for the for touch. They're right in the centre of the field. Going to kick it to the far side and makes ten yards there. No ball boys here. It's one of the players going to collect the ball from the radio grounds. Longridge take it up with a forward. Good tackle. Gets up Philip Thompson in there again. He plays it. They spin it this way, off the half, onto a, a centre. And Christy Blucher up very quickly there again, and a good tackle. Longridge bring it to the blind. 
Philip Thompson around the legs, Coveney over top. Chucky Wakefield on the field now. Philip Thompson tackling up. And he's got Mark Alden, the mark is not standing. Straight in front. Another penalty to Longridge. Longridge truck it up. Jackson. He spins it to the half. They come back to the blind. Switch the play. They've, they're, they're holding him. They've held him up over line. There's some. Yeah, he's been held up. Coveney in there, done well again. Chucky and Labassius here on there now. I didn't see that. Two more reserves for Buck Alden. <laughs> We're getting a run. Come out to the sideline. Longridge feed at him. They spin it wide. Uses cut down there. He, yeah. Christy blew to us again. They spin it the same way. Scotty Cowan, Chucky Wayfield in the tackle there. Longridge take it up again. This forward for Longridge doing a lot of work. Once again, they're struggling to keep him out. The push and shove. Longridge bring it back to the open. Died on there and a good tackle. Peter Stewart, well picked up. He was well and truly over the line. Then Longridge play it back. Dived on by a and player. Very quick off the mark. Jason Hayward, I think it was. Dave Roberts takes it up from dummy half. Philip Thompson, dummy half. He'll go himself too. He unloads. Eddie Blucher. Eddie Blucher stepping and weaving, but the fence up too quick. Peter Stewart will have a run. Fresh on the end, drops it. Knock on. And they'll pack another scrum. Like this. <laughs> so there's four new, four reserves on the field now. Does Chucky go off back now? Yeah. And you got the ball, Ted. And Chucky's picked it up. Spun it wide to Jason Hayward. He's been tackled. Boot lace tackle. Scrum to us, They bring it back this way. Yeah. Peter Stewart takes one up. First run. Quacker screaming for it. Philip goes himself from dummy half. Chucky Wayfield moves into dummy half. Gives it to Quacker. Quacker will have a run. And a wall of defenders pile on top of him. Philip Thompson to dummy half. He unloads to Chucky. Chucky to Christy Butcher. Christy chips ahead. And picked up there was. The long reach winger. He flicks it out the back door. Picked up by Barkey again. Chucky Wayfield. The right place at the right time. He plays it back to Martin Bannon. Martin to Coveney. Coveney will go on his own. Stepping and weaving. He unloads. Philip Thompson picks it up. Chucky goes without it. And dived on by Longridge. Longridge will play the ball 15 yards out from their line. Goes from dummy half, dived on. Chucky Waitfield, Scotty Cow. Jackson will go on his own. There's no runners there for Longridge. He plays the ball back. But Longridge will go from dummy half again. There's no, no one seems to want the ball. Both sides looking very tired now. They throw it back for the kick. And the big forward kicks it for Longridge. And He picks it up, back on his 25 metre line. He steps, weaves, gets out of two. And brought down there. Barky pretty slow getting back here. It's Timmy Doyle, have a run from dummy half. And there's a, he plays it back, Jason Hayward. He'll go from dummy half. And good, he's made valuable yards there. He's over in the long side of the... He's over halfway now. 
Philip Thompson dummy half. Scotty Cowan will have a run. He sees a gap closed on him. Brought down by Norwich defenders there. Thompson dummy half again. Quack it'll go. Running very hard. Another good few yards. Peter Stewart a dummy half. Christy Blucher. He'll step, he'll weave. And he'll he's over again. Another brilliant run by Christy Blucher. Right underneath the post, Johnny. Who's Johnny still? Johnny Pearce not on there anymore. He be spelled for the A grade. I don't know. Looks like Christie's going to convert his own try here. Um, Johnny Pearce having a blow. Uh, 61st Christy shapes up to kick this ball. He shouldn't have any trouble in putting this over. Not a problem. What's that? I don't know, it's in the gap. Is it 52-4? Takes Park Earl to a 52-4 to four lead. Second game of the round for the big rat. Longridge restarts play. Straight down to the fresh reserve, Bannon, I think it is. Stefan Weaven. And B2, he's... he's, he's he started out and brought down over the halfway line. A great run from from the kickoff. Eddie Blue just screaming for the ball. Hit it hard and fumbles, dives on. That'll be a knock on. A bit of a shame to, to see him fumble after the great run. Longridge will feed it in. Longridge regathers and tackle there. Christy Bleacher. He plays it back to Jackson. He spins it out to a forward running on. Longridge looking very tired, not running very hard at all. Jason Ayer going for a second tackle in a row. They play it back. Hayward wraps up halfback. He lets it go. They get a wide. What's his name that's seen shoes? What jersey's he got on? Not even there, is it? Yeah, what jersey's he got on? Like Longley spin it. Spin it wide. Slips out of two. Throws it back. <laughs> Tackle there by Quacker. Fifth and last. He plays it back. They spin it wide to the half. Of the, they're going to spin it wide. Still going. And he's found a gap that Martin Bannon's picked the ball up and still going. He's going to have another run, this fella. And brought down there 10 yards into the long reach half. The best CSC will have a run. Running straight and hard. Three defenders dive on top of him. Plays it back. Oh, Peter Stewart will have another run. He's brought down there, three defenders. Third tackle, Stewart plays it back. Chucky to Thompson. Eddie Bluch will have another run on his own. He's, he's lost the ball. He's got to be offside, that fella. Follow him play, I think he'd be right. Well, he's called a knock on and bark all and feed. No, he, he would have been right there, probably he, was, he fell off the tackle. Oh, did he? I thought he was. Yeah. Well, then he did. Eddie. The buckle and spin it wide from the scrum. Coveney picks up. Good tackle there from the Longridge defence. 
He plays it back to Hayward. Hayward gives it to Quacker. Quacker running hard and fast, and I think he's he scored the try. I thought he lost that. I did too. He scored the try, so that's number two for Quacker. Definitely the jersey. You got a bad limp? I think you're back on next week whilst he's limping. He might have hurt himself too in that try scoring run. What have we got? Quacker. How many minutes score? Uh, that's the uh, 65th minute, right? 66th minute. Christy Bleacher set the ball up here and kicked from way out on the other side. Christy lines up to kick. Moves in, strikes it well, looks good from here, and waved away. Longridge restarts play. Chucky Wakefield takes the ball and runs it up to the centre of the field. Bootlace tackle there from Longridge defence. Philip Thompson goes on his own from half, makes a good five yards. Chucky spins it back to Jason Hayward. He's hit there by three defenders standing in the tackle. Plays it back to Phillip. Through his legs, shock and play the ball. Phillip left to go on his own. Run and tackle there by the Longridge hooker. Thompson plays back to Waitfield. Coveney will go on his own. He get, looked to let the pass away but couldn't, get, couldn't let it go. Fifth and last tackle. The ball's given to Billy Bond. Billy Bond will chip. And it's a good kick. Finds touch. 15 yards out from the long reach try line. No, Billy. So the... No, Eddie. Yeah. Billy just went back on. Eddie, Eddie, it's up over here. Man, he's got us. Not his legs. So they'll pack a scrum here. Long reach to feed it in. Long reach win the scrum and spin it to the open. It's a bit of a step to the blind. So there's a wall of defenders there. Barkle and Long reach play it back. Have a forward bring it up. No. Missed him and they'll spin it wide. Defence, the long range attack very backs very deep there. Billy Bond and and Philip Thompson there tackling. They spin it to the Jackson. He unloads to no one. Dived on by a long range player and Barkle and quick to dive on him. Long range play it back. Go to the blind. Good tackle there, Scotty Cowan and Michael Aylett. And the referees pull play up. And it'll be a change over. Buckle and play the ball back. Back it. Plays it back to Hayward. He'll go from dummy half. Ten metres into the long reach half. Philip Thompson, dummy half. He'll go on his own. Stewart, he'll have a run. He makes five yards there. He's gonna he's gonna tap it on. Uh, he's milked a penalty there. He's ward the penalty. The long ridge mark is not standing in front. Hey, it unloads to Chucky Wakefield. Chucky steps. He'll go and scores the try. Well done. Good play from the fresh reserve. And Bark Alden yet again with another try. He's a bit of a rat, mate. He's only 16 years old or 17, whatever it is. 17 years old. Yeah, but he's got to sit and listen to this and he knows it's me saying it. He knows it'll be hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Seven eight, isn't it? Six three. There he is, the young number 15, Ryan Chucky Wakefield. He's been eager to get on for the reserve grade, and uh, his eagerness has paid off in points. Right under the post, he scored. Played well since he's come on. Actually, all the reserves have played well since they've been on. There's Billy Bond back on the paddock again. He'll lead from the front. on the field. <laughs> the best CS here takes up there as the full-time siren goes. And a convincing win there for the Bar and B grade. Walking over long Longridge, 62 points to four. All right, well, to go through our uh, game statistics, the oh, cool. We have the score tries for Barcool and Coveney with one, Darren Hayward with two, Jason Pierce with two, uh, Eddie Blucher with one, Craig Rogers one, Mick Aylett with two, Chucky Waitfield with one, Christy Blucher with one, and uh, Johnny Power with the boot. Seven, it's converted seven. Tries and uh, Christy Bleach has converted two. Multi's winner for the day. Who is the best player? Oh, cool. Who's your vote, Gary? Oh, I think Eddie Bleach would have to be. Uh, Johnny Power had a very, very good first half. He, he would have been the pick of the, pick of the field for the first half, and in the second half. Uh, I think Eddie Blutch had a really good game as well. There's a happy coach. As the Barcoolan players clap him through the gate.